In the 1964-65 season, the whole of German football suffered with Uwe Zeller after he tore his Achilles tendon. And at the end of the second Bundesliga season, Werder were the surprise champions. The holders SFC Köln were the big favourites in the title race, but they started poorly with only one win in the opening four matches. On match day five, they played at home against top of the table Werder Bremen, and the Billy Goats showed their best performance of the season by that point with pure attacking football. Christian Müller and Hans Schäfer put Köln into a 2-0 lead at the break. Werder weren't looking like a top team, even if they did get two goals back. But further goals from Heinz Hornig and Schaefer saw the game finish 4-2 for the reigning champions over the future title holders. <laughs> Meanwhile, all football fans were worried about the future of Hamburg SV hero Uwe Zeller. In February 1965, Zeller tore his Achilles tendon in a match against Eintracht Frankfurt. A horrible pop that was audible in the stands. The star's footballing future hung in the balance, but thankfully, he was back in action six months later. Unfortunately, the first Bundesliga scandal was not far around the corner. Hertha Berlin, then 14th in the table, were accused of bribing players and paying excessive wages. The DFB declared that Hertha had not operated within the rules and they were severely punished. Hertha BSC and their former chairman Schmidt have been sentenced. And I quote, the club Hertha BSC will be demoted to the next lowest division. That meant they were sent back to Berlin's regional league, another Bundesliga first. In the previous season, well-travelled Medrache SV coach Rudi Gutendorf had achieved second place with the league's dark horses due to some smart defensive nows. And that had fans in Duisburg expecting more. But in 1964-65, middle of the table was no longer an option. As a result, Gutendorf was sent packing, but another Rudi that season was making the news. 1860 Munich's Rudi Brunnenmeier succeeded Uwe Zeller as the top goal scorer with 24 in 30 games. At the beginning of the season, Bremen, ridiculed as amateurs, were in full flow, heading for the title. They shut up shop at the back and made sure they nicked goals at the other end. Werder won 10 of their 15 wins with one or two goal margins. On match day 29, Bremen hosted Borussia Dortmund. Maciak, Kluckner and Zabrowski scored in a 3-0 win that sealed the first Bundesliga title for Bremen under Willy Multhalp. And the announcement that followed, SFC Köln and SFC Nuremberg drew. And that meant the title was wrapped up before the end of the season. I'm completely overwhelmed. I've got a bit of a cold at the moment, so I hope you can all understand me. We have beaten Borussia Dortmund 3-0 in an outstanding match, and I believe that we fully deserve to be champions. Bremen won with superb defensive performances, only 29 goals conceded in 30 matches. Congratulations, Werder Bremen.